Okay, Bill, before we go ahead and put the bulb back in here, I'd like to have you go ahead and explain to us on these sockets, why are they so big? Well, because of the additional 6,000 watts that we had uh, from the 24K, we decided that we needed some bigger sockets. So with some math calculations, we, we came up with a, with a formulation for the amount of surface area that we have here uh, to radiate the, the maximum amount of heat. Plus, we painted them black so that when they do get warm, as a black body, it radiates heat at a faster rate than if it, if it was, you know, bright nickel plated or something. So that's why they're black, to get the maximum amount of heat radiation out. Also notice here you have some insulation for the... Yeah, these are uh, porcelain, uh, machinable porcelain uh, uh, heat shields, uh, so that the, the, the amount of heat that is, that is radiated from the globe itself, uh, because of the light, that these heat shields then block the heat from hitting the, hitting the sockets. And also we have some heat shields down here at the bottom that to protect the actual arm, the yoke arms that hold the sockets in place. Okay, Bill, let's put the bulb back in here, right? Now when you set it in there, you want to center the globe in the sockets, if you try to judge with your eye, and make sure that this tip off now is vertical. Vertical, what I mean vertical is make sure that when the lamp is in the right position, that it's, that it's a vertical, facing toward the top, which it is. Okay, that's fine. Now we can close the sockets. Great. Now we need to connect the lead. Now this lead, the, the, the actual term for this lead is a flying lead. That's what, that's what they call it. And then when you connect it up, Okay, you want to make sure that after you get it installed and snugged up, that you want to make sure that this flying lead is, that you have a, you bring it up against the socket, and then try to take the, take, the, take the connector, the lead, and then so that it sort of holds up against the socket. Okay. Then, with, then with the proper wrench, either a box end wrench or a socket is it really the proper tool to use. If you use a uh, press of wrench or something like of that nature, or a pair of pliers, what happens is you end up eventually uh, rounding off the, uh, the, uh, the, the bolt head, and that's not good. So you force that over, tighten it up, just snug it up, there you go. Okay, Bill, tell me about on the bulb here. I think I saw you touch it. Yeah, what we need, what, yeah we've been touching the, the arms. Uh, so what really needs to be done, there are alcohol wipes that are supplied by the manufacturer in the box and what has to, what should be done is you need to wipe off the entire globe, the, the globe itself and the arms. Reason for that is the oils from your fingers, okay, when they're on that, on quartz glass and when it heats up, the oils will actually eat into the glass itself and then you'll you see your own fingerprints which eventually destroys the quartz. That's why they insist on that you take an alcohol wipe that they su suggest and wipe it, wipe it down. Ventilation. Ventilation. This, uh, this unit was designed in such a way that the, the bottom of the unit, you will notice that we have the trough is separated from, from the main body of the light. This is to allow uh, air to come in from the sides, from the sides of, the, uh, of, of, the, of the unit to go up into the into the, the chamber, the head chamber, and you would notice that when you look at the louvering inside there, these louvers are angled in such a way that it, it allows the air to maximize by hitting, by hitting the, the sockets. And also we have those things, the louvers angled in such a way that it prevents leak light from coming out the bottom. And the top is, is designed the same way, so that the, you get maximum airflow through the top, but yet it's angled in such a way that you don't get no leak light coming out the top. So virtually, when this door is closed, the only light that you see is what comes out the Fresnel lens. Okay, what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and talk about the different parts, the outer workings of the lamp. And I, Bill, I think you're probably going to have to get back and go back to work and build some more of these, aren't you? Yeah. So I'll take it from here okay. and you go give me about 10 of them by tomorrow. You got it. Okay, Bill. Thanks very much. Okay. Well. All right. Take care. Okay.